Okay, so welcome uh, to this uh, time care collab. And we have Ed's orchids and Ninja orchids. Uh, we're together talking about which is this uh, saccharic wax. I don't have any special name for it. It's just saccharic wax. Um, it, it's part of the Catlias. And what would I say to you? I bought it this May from um, Schroeter and it wasn't in that good shape. So it has been in a bottle where I have been kept it un underneath this um, plastic bag. Now it's actually put it up because I I got some roots. So now we have some progress with it. I was sure that I'm, I was going to lose it, but evidently it's not going to go anywhere. So how did I take care of it while well, it was, well, it was in the jar. It's one of those Tupperwares, which is really tall um, and slender. So I was able to actually keep it humid in there. And then I just put this rubber band on and the plastic bag on. And I blew some air every now once in a while there. And once a week I gave it um, foliar feeding, which is I dug it into a bucket full of water and there was also seaweed extract and sometimes I had the mir miracle grow or something. I wanted to try that out. So I don't know which one was actually working, but in any way, that's how I was feeding it. And a little bit calmer. And it wasn't like it was like a few weeks ago it started actually pushing out a root. It's it actually had one growth it um it sucked it out i was sure that it's not going to make it and then i saw the roots so let me get closer and you can actually see how this plant is so as you can see it's still inside the plastic bag and it, this is getting moldy but i j didn't want to give it keep it outside I think I could now, but I was so scared because of the new root. There is like there was one root, and I can actually see some root nubbings coming out of out of there. So there you can see. So this new growth was the second new growth. The first one was the, over there, and it, as you can see, it's it's completely, um, it just went dark and dry and kind of like took all, all the energy out of it and pushed new, new roots out. So I think I'm able to actually let it be outside of the air. It's not that shriveled anymore to my eyes. And yeah, the mold is not a good thing. But yeah, there it is. And I, what else I could tell you about it? I've been wanting to have this, I think, for two years or so, maybe more. Don't remember exactly. I just saw the waxy flowers and the dark color, and I really wanted to have this one. Um, finally, it actually was in the sweaters uh, list, and yeah, I I did get refunds, so don't worry. I was refunded. I I ordered this through. Our orchid society and they dealt dealt everything uh, accordingly and I was able to actually get refund and this new growth is growing quite fast I'm really proud of it so it's not slowing down so I guess I ha I will have this in future so uh, Catlianthe saccharic wax is a, an orchid hybrid which was originated by Professor R. Saccharic. I don't know the person, but that's what the sources says in 1979. And it's cross of Summerland Girl and Catlianthe chocolate drop. Chocolate drop is uh, one other which I have always wanted. So the uh, saccharic wax was kind of like a no-brainer when I saw this one. I didn't see the chocolate drop, and I don't. I do believe that it's hard to actually find the chocolate drop. And there is twenty-five percent guaranthe aurantica, 
then there is 25% Tigrina and 25% uh, Kuttata. I I'm really fascinated by the these three orchids uh, or Cattleya uh, species, and um, it's really interesting combination behind this. And of course, there is a touch of Doviana, which is 19%. So it's I I think if I would uh, if you would find this somewhere. I would recommend to actually buy it because it's really beautiful looking. I haven't seen, of course, the blooms yet, but the pictures and videos which I have seen, it's stunning. And yeah, it's mostly a composite of uh, bifoliate cattleya, so I wasn't sure if I'm actually able to get it to survive, but it seems to be holding on okay. And I think I'm going to be seeing it in future years. Luckily, it had enough storage <laughs> organs and it was able to actually uh, survive. The room where I'm keeping it is this one. So it's um, it's a, a medium temperature. So it's around 20, 23 degrees. There isn't that much uh, variation unless I'm opening the window, so it's quite steady. And I have it quite next, uh, well, it's next to the uh, table, next to the grow light shelf. So that way it gets indirect light because I didn't want to burn it or, or make it like um, synthesize faster so that it would just drop dead. So this was the uh, way I was able to give it uh, enough light but not too much and it seems to be enjoying it and I'm still keeping it there. I'm actually training it to so it's this way around so that the new growth would be coming uh, growing up. Maybe when I'm seeing some roots in here in the pot I might be able to actually give it like direct light but for the time being it's going to stay up there what else um i think i don't have anything else to tell you only these uh information which i already had and because i haven't had it that long time only two months so yeah and i'm really waiting to see ninja orchids and ants orchids uh videos and how, what they have, what sort of like um, information they have, because it would be really nice to actually get to know this better. I'm not going to edit this much because I was in a hurry and I'm trying to push this out to the YouTube. So I'm, I'm really sorry if there is like long pauses or anything like that. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Bye.